Elizabeth Morse Morey was wife of whaling captain Israel Morey. Betsy, as she was known to all, kept a journal aboard the whale ship Phoenix during a voyage from July 20th, 1853 to August 13th, 1855. Phoenix crossed the Atlantic Ocean, rounded Cape Horn, and hunted for whales in the Pacific Ocean and later the Sea of Okhotsk. My husband has presented me this book for the purpose of writing a journal, but I feel entirely incompetent to the task. It is just 19 years today since we were married, and I thought I would commence from this date. In the first place, it's of no use for me to describe my feelings previous to leaving my dear friends on that dear isle of the sea where I had spent 23 years of my life, and my dear friends can better imagine than what I can write. We left that dear spot on July the 19th, 1853. Wednesday morning I went up on deck and took my last view for the present of that dear spot, and my husband and the pilot stood by my side and observed, There is the old sand heap. Take one more look. And I did so, which caused tears to flow. A kind, curious woman of a poetic nature, Betsy displayed a fascination with the diverse flora and fauna encountered during the voyage and the changing beauties of the sea. She felt a special sympathy for the whales captured by the crew and wrote tributes and invented colorful names for many of them. And as this is the first sperm whale I have seen, I think I will call her name Mercy, for we have seen so many and could not catch them. She has had so much mercy on us, I thought it would be a proper name to give it. Lovely Mercy, we do love thee, now your voyage of life is o'er. You was the first discovered by me, and I shall never behold you more. In June 1854, To Russian beauty and the sea queen of Russia, it was cruel to disturb thee, lovely monster of the deep. And when I saw them thus approach thee, it caused me so to wail and weep. During the course of the voyage, Betsy named all 30 whales taken. On October 9th, 1854, she remembers Lady Montego, whale number 27. Oh, she is a beauty. They found her little calf with her, poor little creature. It was cruel to take the mother from him, but I suppose he'll soon forget her and remember her miseries no more. And on October 2nd, 1854, Betsy wrote of a hog brought on board from Pitts Island and later slaughtered by the crew. He has numbered one of our family eight months, and in that time I have got very much attached to him. I would go up on deck at any time, and if he heard my voice, he'd come to me and ask for his corn. And if I did not take the hint, he would pull my dress or shawl until I noticed it. And then I would say to him, Does Mr. Hogg want his corn? And he would answer me, Ugh! Oh, Ugh! Oh. Poor Mr. Hogg is dead and gone. I never shall see him more, or hear him begging me for corn. His loss I do deplore. <laughs>